That is awesome, dude. Look how red he is. That's real animal style right there. <laughs> look at that. That is a day maker, baby. Oh, look at that. Real Animals, presented by Contender Boats. Today we're back in one of my very favorite places on the entire planet. We're at South Seas Island Resort down on Captiva, Florida. Just a beautiful vacation destination with some of the best fishing anywhere in the world. Yeah, today we kind of stepped out of the box. My good friend, Captain Ozzy Fisher, who I've been filming with down there for about 12 years now, he, uh, he was booked and uh, we decided to to get out of our comfort zone a little bit, but still keep it in the family. And uh, today we're with Captain Nick Fisher, Ozzy's youngest brother. And uh, he's really, really a great captain and a great guy. I was really looking forward to spending the day on the water with him. Hey gang, today I'm back at one of my very favorite places. I'm at South Seas Island Resort here in Captiva, Florida. My good friend, Captain Nick Fisher, is taking me fishing. Nick, what's the plan today, bud? Well, I think we're gonna start off, see if we can get some tarpon, see if we can get some early. Um, it's been a pretty good bite in the morning, and then I think we might go offshore, see if we can get some permit, maybe some kingfish. Nice. You know, roll the Mixed dice. bag. Yeah, huh? see what we can do. I like it. I like it. We've had an absolutely rough, rough start to uh, 2018 weather-wise. You know, normally on the west coast of Florida, our days start with a really nice easterly flow, a uh, little light breeze, and midday it usually turns around and you get that sea breeze in the afternoon. Uh, we've had none of that. This week it's been all straight west winds around the clock and uh, for the most part they've been pretty high as well, 10 to 15, sometimes even as high as 20 knot winds. Um, and it's made things really, really difficult this week. I was really getting anxious to see whether or not we could get this, this day on the water in. So uh, that was a long run, Nick. Yeah. Wow. Right to the fishing grounds. Probably. 600 yards, <laughs> 700 yards from the resort. And the tarpon have been playing in this particular area here the last couple of days. It's early in the tarpon season, but these fish just kind of showed up, right? Yeah, they started showing up mm, earlier this week and it's been some good numbers of fish. So I think we have some good, good opportunities to, to put some fish in the air. You know, this whole area, Pine Island Sound, Boca Grande, Charlotte Harbor, it's really, in kind of a class of its own when it comes to tarpon fishing. Uh, the fish start to migrate up from the Keys. Uh, they come around uh, the coast here, start to head north as the bait schools move in. Uh, they, they set up on the outside of these passes, these really big passes like Boca Grande, like Redfish Pass, like Egmont up in Tampa. And they really stage there to load up on crabs the crabs flush out of these places on the new and full moons. Uh, the real strong outgoing tides suck a lot of those crabs out into the gulf. And the tarpon get there and they stage up to feed heavy before they go offshore to spawn in late June or July. Crabby patty. Crabby patty. Love me some crabby patty. It's just about the perfect size crab right there. Sometimes they'll get, sometimes they'll get into a mood where they're eating them a little bigger. You can see we've already, the pinchers are already off them, make them a lot easier to handle. Wouldn't be grabbing that crabby patty like that with his pinchers on there. I'm gonna hook him right in the corner of the oh, shell. Yeah. So he floats we've got him all surrounded. Natural. What's that, buddy? So we've got him all surrounded. Nick likes these trocar hooks. Super sharp. That's still a tough shell to get through and that's why you got to have a sharp hook because tarpon crush these crabs in their mouth so they got a really really ornery yap on them. Now we're sweating set up do a little business here. What Nick's been doing here the last couple days he's had good luck on big thread fin herring and on crabs. So, as you guys should do when you go fishing as well, even if you're throwing artificials, you know, one guy throws one color, one guy throws another color. Same thing here this morning. We're gonna try to see what the flavor of the day is. You wanna basically just set up and, you know, some days you might get them all in pinfish. Some days you get them all in threads or crabs and 
you know, having a variety, trying everything you can to throw out there, and just kind of just, <laughs> just everywhere. They're rolling all over the place. <laughs> and they're just uh, getting what you can, and, and you know, you know, figure out what they want to eat. Real Animals is brought to you by Quantum Fishing Reels. Outsmart, outfish, outlast. Ray Marine, simply superior. Mirror Lure, turn on the bite. Ingle, high performance coolers. You know, as the tide was coming to change, we ended up drifting closer and closer to the pass. And as we were getting into deeper water there and closer to some of the ledges in there, the Ray Marine machine just kind of came alive. And we knew at that moment we were fixing to get bit. Come on. Boy. Oh boy. I think they're like crabs. Look, the resort's right there, Okay, He's coming up. Oh, shoot. We talk about it all the time, how great the fishing is right here at the resort. <laughs> I mean, we're at the resort. Like, the people in the resort, in the rooms, are watching Nick fight the fish. <laughs> My customer from yesterday, hey, guys, how you doing? <laughs> That's right. I think he's coming up. He's coming up. Coming up. Coming up, there he is, baby. That's a big fish, too, dude. That's a big tarpon, dude. Woo! That is a big tarpon, dude. Tarpon for breakfast, baby. Your, uh, your brother's gonna be a little jealous. You know, the last time I was out with him, we tried to get the tarpon to go, and we couldn't get him to go. So you're just trying to show your brother up? Is that what you're trying to do? Well, you know, I, <laughs> he's done it to me so too many times, so it's made us nice to get one in. Right. I always think it's great to have that that camaraderie on the water between Absolutely. guides, but I think it's got to be even more special when it's your brother. Absolutely, you know. I mean, we're, how cool is that? We're tight. It's. I mean, how many people get to work with their brother every day, their family members, and enjoy what we do? And you know, look at the people. You got people on the balconies at the resort watching the fishermen, and Florida fishing at its best right there, right from the resort, standing there watching guys fight tarpon. Coming up. Ooh, angry. Oh! 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 oh. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> yeah, baby. Giddy up, buttercup. It is a tarpon. <laughs> it is a tarpon, yeah. I know I said it might be. <laughs> the bull bay rod getting her done oh, right there, I'm kid. Just doing work. Dude, that was awesome. You know what else is really interesting about that is how the electronics. A great set of electronics like the Ray Marine stuff changed that game for us right oh, there. Oh, absolutely. Because it put us right exactly where Nick needed to be to get bit. Right on that ledge, those fish were stacked up on that ledge, the tide's coming in, bringing them food right on that ledge, and because of the electronics that we use, we were able to get right on that fish. Changes everything. I mean, I, we didn't saw any fish roll. We must have, maybe saw one tail slap. We went over, just kind of drifting into it. All of a sudden, we looked at our side scan imaging. Yep. All of a sudden, like, up oh, there's the meat. Yep. Came up through a bait up current, let it drip right into him. Dunk. There's no better feeling than that. I know it, there ain't either. I wait all year long for these fish. There she is. These fish get close, you want to start turning that angle on them. Start changing their direction. Show the motors off. No worries. Look at that beauty, boy. What a stud. <laughs> Talk about right at the resort. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna catch you a tarp and meanwhile, give you a tour of <laughs> South Seas Island Resort. Mike, why don't we drop you off there? Go quick, quick, quick down. I still might be fighting this thing. <laughs> we get a whole new oomph of energy once they get to the boat. Get a set of paws on them. Burn that energy up, kiddo. You see me, dog? Come here, Betsy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, ma'am. Look at that eyeball. Look how pretty that eye is. Huh? That's beautiful fish. That's awesome. Huh? Look at that, right in the top. Right in the butt. Her circle hook is out. All right, let me lay this down real quick. You ready? There she goes. 
My man. Hey! That's a oh boy! Nice fish. Real Animals is brought to you by South Seas Island Resort, Rolls Axle Trailers, built like no other, Bull Bay Rods, combined with Tangle Free Guides for a difference you can feel. Lazy Days RV, exclusive RV partner of the Real Animals Fishing Show. You know, there's very few fish um, that put up the battle of the Silver King. I mean, to get a moniker like the Silver King, they give it to that fish for a reason. That fish will give you everything it's got almost every single time. There's no battle like it, in my opinion, in, in all of fishing. Um, the tackle we're using isn't crazy heavy. Um, it's not light tackle by any means, but tarpon to me just have a soul. They just fight you with everything they got. Um, it's just an amazing fish, and there's nothing more rewarding than when you finally get your hands on that fish and she's up next to the boat, and you get to take a look at just how beautiful and special that fish is. You know, uh, 80 pound fish like we played with today, probably 70 to 100 years old already. Um, and that's an amazing thing to think about. You know, they start out as these little bitty guys way in the back country somewhere and evolve into this incredible game fish that just gave us the fight of a lifetime. It's really, really special. Yeah, we're right in the middle of them. Got fish on both sides. Looks like it. All right, I like that. I like both sides. You know, the winds that had plagued us in the morning uh, seemed to be dying down a little. So as Nick and I were able to release this beautiful tarpon that, uh, that blessed us in the morning, we kind of looked at one another like, looks like we might be able to get offshore and uh, check on those permits. And uh, that's exactly what we did. And we found out it was a pretty nice day out there. Our good friend Nick, Captain Nick Fisher, decided after catching a large tarpon this morning that we should roll offshore because we finally got some nice weather to one of his favorite little permit spots and see if we could catch a permit and maybe a kingfish. And as we rolled up, there's permit, there's permit here. <laughs> so Captain Mike is just a wee bit excited. <laughs> Watch over here, look at that dark spot. Yeah. There was a huge flash over there, like, like a- Bear coming at us. Like a permit stand. Bear coming at us, right here. Dude, they're huge. Oh my God, they're huge. They're beautiful. That is such a cool fish. Here comes more. Eat my crab. Please eat my crab. He's close. They're so close. Here they come. Oh, I just gotta eat him. Atta boy! Permit on, baby! <laughs> That's my boy! Right here to the right, there's more. Permit on! Look, I'm in. I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. Yeah, if you're having a day, you know that I'm the, <laughs> I'm the host, right? Well, I really appreciate you taking me out here today, Mike. Oh, there he is! <laughs> <laughs> yes, there he is. Doubled up on Doubled the permit. Doubled up. Come on, come on, doubled up, baby. Let's just go to South Seas today and, I don't know, we'll catch tarpon and then we'll we'll go play with the permit and I don't, I don't know, whatever. If you're into that sort we'll of thing. We'll call it a soft Tuesday. <laughs> Oh, I'm so happy right now. I love. Oh, love that sound. I love permit. I absolutely love them. Such a cool fish, dude. The good Lord just let the wind die for us, huh? I mean, we didn't think we were maybe make it out. I didn't like, no, think. There's no way. I didn't think we were. <laughs> That's a big permit. <laughs> That's a really good fish. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, coming right at the boat. Oh yeah, oh, nice, nice fish. Permit, Mike. Look nice at that. Permit. Look at that bad boy right there. What a pretty fish. All right, and the lips. Whoa. That is some absolutely good stuff right there, bro. Come here, pumpkin. I know. That fish is like you ugly. Yeah, I am. But you mine. Hey, mine now, yeah, baby. Woo! Huh? How about that? Tarpon in the morning, permit, permit for lunch. <laughs> Woo! Come on, get you some of that. Circle hook right in the lip, both of them. That's perfect. Huh? Come on now. Get some love. God, they're incredible. Aren't so they? pretty, that big silver flash out there. They look like so a mirror. I got, yeah, they do. That looks like a mirror in the water. 
when they turn that big body sideways, they just give you all they got. Light tackle. All he feels that little bump. Game on. What a fish, bro. Doubled up. Captain Nick Fisher, South Seas Island Resort. Doesn't get any better than this, period. Mine's gone. Mine's gone. Right. <laughs> Nick Fisher, you are the man, my friend. Love it, it man. Love it. Real Animals is brought to you by CCA Florida and CCA Florida Star Tournament. Maui Jim, color, clarity, detail. Plantation on Crystal River. Pro Marine, quality marine engine parts overnight. Gator Gems Tackle, not just another tackle store. Closed captioning provided by Gator Ford. The South Seas Island Resort on Captiva Island is a 330-acre wildlife preserve which spans two and a half miles of pristine white sand beaches. Enjoy some of Florida's best fishing from snook and tarpon to grouper and kingfish or play a round of golf overlooking the crystal clear waters of the Gulf of Mexico. The Real Animals Fishing Show can't recommend a better island style getaway than the South Seas Island Resort. This week's Tackle Box is brought to you by Cleanse Oil, America's original cleaner, lubricant, and protectant. Hey gang, in this week's Real Animals Adventure, Captain Nick and I are using eight foot bull bay rods for the tarpon. This is the Assault Series, the 30 to 50 pound class. A heavy action rod, but it's still got that fast action tip. You know, today we were throwing some crabs and some thread fins, stuff that's not very heavy. A little bit of a soft tip there helps you make kind of a long cast, get those baits out away from the boat. On the tarpon rods, we were using our favorite, the Cabo 80. Again, that huge drag surface works really good on the tarpon. You want to try to land those fish as soon as you possibly can. We're using 50 pound braided line. We're using 50 and 60 pound fluorocarbon leader with a seven odd circle hook. Today, we were using just a little bit of split shot right down on the hook to try to get those baits down in the water column just a little bit. We got offshore and we were permit fishing. I like to downsize just a little bit. This is more of a 20 pound class rod. This is the Real Animal Signature Series right here from Bull Bay. Here we're using 30 pound braided line and today we're using 20 and 25 pound fluorocarbon leader. Two aught Nautilus light circle hooks here. As far as the reel goes, this Quantum Smoke 50 has caught me a ton of fish out there. I use it for kingfish, I use it for permit, I use it for some light grouper. This is all the tackle you need to get done exactly what Captain Nick and I did today. Get yourself out there and catch you some fish. You know, permit are one of those fish that um, they're built kind of like a jack. They got that big old thick sidewall on them and they get turned into that, into the tide and into the current. And, and they just put such a bend on the rod and such a, a screaming drag on the quantum smokes. It just, it just drives my blood pressure up, puts a big smile on my face, just makes me like a little kid. Edmus. Yep. Real. Attaboy. Attaboy. Boy, I felt him thump it. Oh, yeah. I felt him thump it. <laughs> I couldn't even. I couldn't even budge him. <laughs> Dunk. Yeah. You never know what you're gonna get down here. No, you really don't. You know, I, ha I might have an idea for the next day of what I think I'm gonna do, and then I get out there and it's completely different, you know? Snook, redfish, trout fisheries, yeah. world class. I mean, it's just unbelievable. Get out of there. Come on, girl, come on up. Well, you know that big fella lives down there. Yeah, I think it's another pretty good permit. Oh, there he is. I told you. I'm telling you, that ain't move good. It. That ain't good. Come here, come here. Come to me. He's Get looking out of there. It. I know it. He is, too. Get out of there. Turned clear. off. Just right. turned off. Oh, we're in the clear. Come on. Come see, look at that pretty fish there, buddy. That's a good one, Mike. That's a good one. 
Yeah, baby. Pretty as they get right there. Oh. Big old thick head on them. That's a good permit there. Look at that bad yeah. boy. Woo! Huh? That is awesome. Huh? How cool is that fish? Soft lips just sucking in that crab, huh? Crazy. It's funny, man. as they get bigger, you'll start seeing scars from underneath them from eating crabs or pinching the lips. What a great fish. Captain Nick Fisher, you are the man, my friend. The whole doggone Fisher family you can just catch them up. Tarpon permit. We had the right boat for the day. You know, the 25 contender making that run offshore when it wasn't glassed out. We didn't have to have a perfect day. It was pretty nice out there, but the contender just eats it up. Everything came together for just another incredible Real Animals Day. It just doesn't get any better than life at a South Seas Island resort.